Welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Kyle Pansis. If you are new to the channel, please be sure to smash the subscribe button. If not, thank you so much for your continued support. Today I am here with my 2017 Jaguar XF. This has the 3.0 liter V6 engine with a supercharger. It is producing 340 horsepower and about 322 or 332, somewhere in that range, foot pounds of torque. So it's a very powerful engine. For this car, this car weighs about around 3,600 pounds, so it may be a, a pretty large luxury sedan, but with the aluminum alloy frame and the aluminum alloy chassis and everything being aluminum alloy, it is super light. In fact, it's actually lighter than my 2012 Volvo S60 that I used to have that had around 300 horsepower, 325 foot-pounds of torque. So let's get into this video. I'm going to explain a little bit more. So before we get into the details of what we're about to do here is this car, as you just heard, is a pretty light car and of course uh, has a decent amount of power. So here is the, the uh, constricted stock OEM air box and uh, this is the intake setting. And if you guys look, I'll show you closer. If you guys look, the intake tube kind of cuts off right here. There's some screws that hold this box together. So I actually purchased for now just some open open air cones that are going to just kind of go right here on the end and uh in this video today we're going to actually install that and give you guys a little bit of a difference there's also another kit i can buy here in the future uh, which will change out this restrictive air intake tubing and open that up a little bit more like you know some of this little indentation and open it up a little bit more to give it some more free flowing airflow which will also add power so just the air intake alone should approximately add another 10 horsepower which may not sound like a lot but it's also going to allow a little bit more uh, flow and uh, performance enhancements when you're on the upper end of shifting gears so it's going to ha have a little bit better reaction to the foot and also acceleration so you know it's going to be a little bit of a tweak on those things and it won't be a lot of in performance upgrades but in just in terms of responsiveness of the pedal and flow of the intake it will be huge and then also not only that it's going to open up the supercharger sound so when we get on this car and we want to hear that supercharger really scream that open air intake will be a huge huge increase of uh noise to the cabin which i like so that's a little bit of an intro for you on this and uh, I think by the time we're done, we're going to probably push this thing upwards of around 400 horsepower. We're going to do it in stages. But the, one of the other things we can do is this is the supercharger right here. And that's the pulley. And there's an upgrade for that, which isn't that expensive, which will add another 25 horsepower. In fact, just so you guys can know, the biggest difference between the base model, if you will, XF versus the XF with the S performance package which you know Jaguar you know not only has different trim trim pieces on the outside of the car and you know some body kit uh, is the supercharger pulley that's that's the only difference in performance and uh, that engine on the S model actually produces 380 horsepower so that 340 for me between the open air and the pulley and maybe a tune can get up to 400 horsepower it's essentially just like the s model all right guys so before we hop into the installation of these intake cones i want to just give you guys a decibel reading of what it sounds like from like a 20 to 60 mile an hour ride maybe up to 70. regardless i want to give you guys just the supercharger whine and uh give you the before and after sound effects of that noise that we're going to increase all right so take two we got the decibel meter working here 60 miles an hour. Min is 66 point, or sorry, min is 64.3. I just, uh, I just ran into my neighbor. He picked up a 2021 Escalade, fully loaded. That thing is sick. Wow. GM did a good job on that one. 
Uh, so anyways, I'm just gonna do a decibel reading on the full throttle for you guys. All right, guys, here we are at the same 15 miles an hour. It's like 70, it's about 80. Give it 76 to 80 because I'm talking and it's changing. Yeah, it's about 77 to 80. And then I talk, it bounces. So there's a little decibel meter for you. All right, guys, so here it is the cone. It's gonna literally sit right here on the end. So I just got to unscrew the two screws. One, two, two screws. Two screws right here that hold the box on. And then the screws down here. And this should just pop right up. So let's hop into this. Should be pretty straightforward. All right guys, so for everybody's point of reference on these screws, the screws that are right here on the top, holding it, that funnel in there, the tube is a T20. And then the bottom screws to the box is T25. All right, guys, so the two screws here just pop off the main box and uh, should be good to go. I'm gonna take this tube off as well. And then this goes in here like that. But before we do that, we got some other things to do. All right guys, so the next thing we're gonna do here is remove the rest of this air box here. So the filter here comes right out somehow or another. But more importantly is this 10 millimeter bolt here that holds this down in place. Inside, inside over here guys, once you remove the filter is some tabs that hold this to the rest of the inlet system to the air. So we're just gonna have to uh, squeeze and push to remove this. All right, so that's out of the way. So this goes in like this and on the bottom here, let me show you. Right on the bottom here, there's a, that hole right there where this lines up, right here. And uh, the screw that came out of here will now go right there. So here's the screw, and I'm gonna put that right over here. And uh, it seems like Jaguar designed this just to do exactly what it's doing. So before I tighten that down, I just wanna finish setting this setup here. We gotta put the MAF air flow sensor back in. This was originally tied into the box. So this we're not ditching yet because for obvious reasons. So this has got to go back in like this where it goes on this side actually. And then we'll reinstall everything. The air is pointing. It's got an arrow for the pointing of the air direction, which is this way. Okay, so now that this is in, you guys can see how that functions. I will tighten this screw down here. Uh, I need to put an extender on. Just like that. Now we install the filter.
you guys go. Everything's installed. Just remove my phone from here. And just for noting to self and to you guys, I put all the boxes back together and I will put them in storage um, so nothing is misplaced. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty cool. This has a filter here and then there's another separate filter on top of that. So it's like a double filter. Pretty restrictive if you ask me my humble opinion, but there you guys go. Let's fire her up and uh, take her for a ride. All right, guys. Let's get the first startup on this. This is going to be awesome. That puts a big smile on my face, boys. <laughs> that is so loud. Oh, man. All right, so we're going to take this thing for a ride, so stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys. It is the next morning here. Let's get a little cold start action for you. It is 27 degrees outside. guys so you just got a cold start and you'll notice that it's nothing like a turbocharger on a supercharger where it doesn't give you the morning the cold start morning growl you know the, the air sucking through the the uh, intake so it's a little bit different um, on the cold start like I just mentioned but however what's nice about this whole thing which I mentioned I think might have been mentioned earlier is when you're driving the car like normal the car sounds normal and it doesn't even seem like there's an intake in there. You could give it some gas, like right now I'm going to give it some gas and it doesn't do anything, right? It doesn't sound any different, but as soon as I get on it a very slight bit, you guys can hear that supercharger just kind of take off and whine. All right, so now I'm going to take the decibel reader and give you uh, the latest uh, and greatest on that. We're going to do the same 15 to 70 miles an hour. So the max was around 80 decibels. So not not a little bit louder than yesterday. And obviously you guys can probably hear an audio difference in just the camera alone. I'll do it before and an after right here. And we're doing 15 miles an hour. That's 80 right there. Three, two, one, we're at 20. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed it myself. Uh, this little tasteful modification is just something small for me to enhance some of the characteristics of this car. If you have a car that has a supercharger, this will be pretty much the same uh, upgrade, same same effects. So if you have a car that you have a supercharger with and you want to open it up a little bit, you know, this is a good upgrade. It doesn't have to be just this Jaguar, but um, that's it for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the subscribe button, give it a like, of course, drop a comment if you have any comments. And of course, it's good for you and for me since it's YouTube, it's all about you. Give it a share so YouTube knows to share what you like and of course help my channel. So thanks for all your support, all your help, and I will see you guys next time. Listen to this thing, purr.